Hey, how we doing, Survivors? Paul Soros Jr. here. Welcome back to Minecraft Survival Adventure 1.2. And do you guys, do you smell that? <laughs> no, not my socks. <laughs> the finish line. <laughs> We're so close to the finish line. I can smell it. It's so close. So the finish line being, whoa, the end and the end dragon. I don't really want to fight these guys right now. I'm trying to keep my armor nice and pure. Oh, of course it's all skeletons. I'm out here looking for a little bit of experience and what do i get 47 skeletons how about a couple of zombies really and i don't want to waste my arrows there we go take some experience balls oh darn it those guys are still fighting in the background over there take the arrows though those can be helpful <laughs> So yeah, if you have been watching this from the get-go, then you would know that the whole purpose of this series was to spawn in the wild on hard difficulty and get all the way to the end realm and kill the dragon. And then, uh, we win! We win Minecraft! We beat it! We win Minecraft? <laughs> we win, we beat Minecraft. Proper English. So that's, that's the goal. And we are... Just about ready to head down, kill the dragon. But a few things that I want to do first. Um, one of them being, I need to craft with these diamonds. And in, in fact, the last episode I asked, should I craft a helmet or a uh, a new sword? Because this sword has smite too, and that's not really going to help me against the dragon. So we, I would say we had about a 50-50 split in the in the replies. Fifty wanted a helmet. 50 said, uh, you're better off with a sword. So I think I am going to do a sword. Because I want to get, uh, I want to get like a sharpness enchantment or something. But I, I still need one more. I'd like to get one more level. Let's get eight levels of enchantment. But I need more stuff to kill and I don't want to... Here we go. Alright. I don't want to take any damage right now. I'm trying to preserve my armor as best I can. Yeah, good. Get in the water. That's good. All right, seven and hello. Oh, oh. Oh, we dropped the sword. Okay, eight. Perfect. Oh, well, you know what? I need you. Just some wool, because I'm gonna make a bed. Sorry. Oh no, 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 no. Run. Whoa, you see that thing fly right over. Goodbye. Whoa. 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 Whoa, parkour. Uh, what am I doing here? Why am I here? Ow. Okay. Except that parkour had really nowhere to go. <laughs> it was a dead end. All right, well, that's okay. The fall does not hurt my armor. It just hurts me and my pride. But that's okay. I don't have any pride right now. Prideless. Just want to get through here and kill some stuff. And why are you full? Man. All right, let's just make another chest and get rid of this stuff. That other chest over there in the corner is my end travel chest. I don't want to put stuff in there. And get confused. So, yeah, this is the end travel chest. This is the most of the stuff I'm going to bring with me uh, when we go fight the dragon. So, all right, let's do this. I know that I had a lot of people say a sword would be better. Uh, other people said make the helmet. But I'm going to craft a sword. And I'm going to use... Let's use two levels of enchantment. Hold on. Let's get rid of this thing. Okay, and let's do it too, and cross your fingers. Please cross your fingers for me. We want a sharpness. We don't want arthropods. We don't want knockback. Sharpness. Argh! Okay, so we got arthropods. You guys didn't cross your fingers now. Come on. <laughs> Help me out here. Let's try this again. Cross fingers. Oh, and cross your toes while you're at it. Come on, do the toes. And, uh, yes! 
Yes, it worked. You guys are good. Okay, you can uncross those toes. They'll get cramped if you leave them like that too long. Um, I don't think I'm going to need multiple swords. Okay. I'll bring this one to kill stuff on the way. And then... Uh, because we have to go to the uh, to the back to the stronghold. Oh, good! That was exciting. I'm happy about that now. All right, so sharpness is definitely going to help. So let's. I'm feeling lucky. I should go to Vegas right now and go play the slots. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> do you feel lucky, punk? Well, do you? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple really low level enchantments on some boots. I want feather fall. And uh, let's see four. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get the helmet out. Okay. So if I do two on the helmet. Let's put one on the helmet and I'll try two on the booties. That's fine. What I can't ask for better than that. Protection one all the way across the board. And now we'll do let's get one with the two. One with the two. Arg! Nerg! <clears throat> Dang it. Okay, well, I was hoping for Feather Fall. So. That stinks. Alright, let's just get rid of these. Maybe I should try one more. <laughs> one more level. One more level. I've got so much iron, I could spend all day making booties. All right, by the way, I don't know if you guys saw my Soaring No Longer video yesterday, but um, I went um, went camping with the kids this weekend. Got totally rained out. Talked a little bit about that in Soaring No Longer. Now I get two levels. Let's make a let's make a three booties. Can I make a three booties? There we go. But I never finished the story, so maybe I can finish that now. Let's see how far I can get. Although, no, let me tell a different story. <laughs> Got lots of them. Gotcha. Oh, he was, like, ready to go. He was just, just about to blow. But I ruined it for him. Like that guy. Quick strike. I'll tell the story about my wife. So, we got back from camping um, Sunday... Oh, no, actually, Saturday, because it was all rained out, so we decided not to spend another night in the soaking wet and rain uh, and lightning, which can be a little dangerous when you're in a tent and trees are falling around you. Heavy winds and thunder and all that. So we uh, we came back Sunday, got home Sunday night. Uh, I'm sorry, Saturday night. And then Sunday morning, my wife had a uh, Minecraft mom had a uh, triathlon. So she was going to go on her own and... and uh, Oh, wait, I should kill this guy. <coughs> Somebody knocking. Let's get one more. I'm going to do two more boots at... Ooh, oh, look, a ball. Someone dropped a ball. Just for me. How thoughtful. Let's make two. I'm going to do two more at two. So, uh, we all kind of slept in. She had to get up early to get to the to where they're going to hold the race. So, all the racers had to be there by, like... Well, the race started at seven. Here we go. Ready? Fingers crossed, please. Yes! You guys rock! <laughs> oh, yeah, baby! And now I can keep the other two for... Whatever. Alright. So now we're good. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, I don't think I'm going to need the axe anymore. Because now we're going we're gonna to head over to the stronghold. And we are going to be good. Okay, excellent. What? Just wait your turn. I'll be out in a minute. I don't need your balls anymore. Got enough. I got my feather fall. Protection one, and I even have a sharpness, so... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's like, how rude. Um, okay. So I was saying, my wife, um, so she took off early and came back. Let's make a bed. Oh, perfect. We came back uh, just about as I was getting up. So, and uh, I was just getting up, and she's like, I got the gold. And I was like, no. 
I was like, yeah. <laughs> and she said, yeah, I was up on the podium and everything. I got first place. I was like, that's unbelievable. So yeah, she got the first place gold um, in her age category. Swimming. So it's a triathlon is a swim, a bike, and a run. All right, now just let me focus here on this stuff. And are we ready to go? Oh, I think we are. I think we may be. Let me just fill up on some chicken. I'm not going to bring the chicken. I've got all that stew. I'm going to bring. Um. Oh, you know what I could do? Let's enchant a bow. Let's try for an infinity. I don't know if we can get an infinity with a one. Cross your fingers, people. This is it. It's a power. That's good. That's okay. I'll bring that too. I'll bring both. I think I'll need both. No. Let's just bring one, and this one's in better shape. So, okay, that's fair. That's fair. All right, so let's pack up. Let's pack it up, folks. I'm not going to bring the coal. I will leave the sticks. I'll bring some wooden planks. I would like to bring that. I'm going to need the bed. I'm going to put the bed out in the stronghold. Cobble might be a waste. Um, golden apples. All right, let's just grab some strength potions. You can go there. I'm going to need some speed potions. I would like some instant health splash -aruskis. And maybe a couple of regen. And how about... Some snowballs. I definitely need the Eyes of Ender. What don't I need? Let's not bring the crafting table. Because I can... Uh... Oh, I'm going to need my arrows. Dang it. Alright, forget the smite. Let's just bring all my arrows. And I need the sand. Oh. Oh. Forget the bucket of water. And I was going to bring all this iron as well. Um, all right, let's bring the iron. I'll make an iron shovel down there because I'm going to use the sand to get up and down the towers. And I'll bring iron to make more armor in, in the event I need it, which I'm probably not. But just in case. So what am I leaving behind? Some instant health pots. I'm hoping these three will do me right. Oof. Um... Let's just bring another one. I've got the mushrooms and the stew. Oh, boy. Maybe I should just bring a bunch of chickens to eat. Uh, you know what? That's good. Let's go do this. Let's go do it. By golly. I think we're ready. We're going to make the trip. So anyway, yep. so she went off and did the triathlon. Won the gold medal. Came back. I was just rolling out of bed, and she <laughs> completed all that. Got the gold. And the funny thing about Minecraft Mom, I mean, she's very athletic. She's really good at this kind of stuff. She's been she's done a few triathlons. I did one one year um, on a team. I have not done it alone. You know, she did the whole thing on her own. I was on a team. I did the run one year. We got fourth place. A bunch of guys that didn't really train very much. But she uh, she doesn't really train much either. That's the that's the the ironic thing is that Minecraft Mom doesn't really train. I mean, she runs and she stays in shape, but, you know, the biking and the swimming, she did a little bit of biking beforehand. Um, I don't think she did much swimming beforehand, so that was just, you know, she's a swimmer. She swam in high school and in college, so she's a good swimmer to begin with, but it's not like she trained for it. There are people that train for this stuff day in and day out, and they, they travel around and do these triathlons professionally. Or, well, not professionally, but... And an amateur, I guess, um, <laughs> professional amateurs. <laughs> and they, because uh, I don't think there's any cash money prizes or anything, but it's just, you know, get your name up in the paper or on the list or the website. But that's not Minecraft Mom at all. That's not my wife. She just does it because, well, first of all, she was talked into it by a friend who wanted to do it. So the night before, she's like, I really don't even, I don't even want to do this. Um, you know, Kristen talked me into it. And, you know, now I've got to go and do it. But um, she did it. She's glad that she did it because she got the gold, obviously. And that's uh, a great achievement. 
something that she will always have and she even came home with a gold medal so that was pretty cool but uh, she doesn't even train for the darn thing so and she had a very good time but i can only imagine if she had trained more like we went on a couple of bike rides but i didn't i don't think she swam ever i mean other than just a little bit at the pool you know remembers at a, uh, a local pool club that we go to and you know a little bit of swimming there but nothing um as far as training goes so I thought that was pretty uh, pretty amazing, very proud. So congratulations to Minecraft Mom for getting the gold in the triathlon. She's the real tough mutter. That's one tough mutter, let me tell you. And we are, by the way, we are going to record, hopefully today, some more man, ver uh, man woman Minecraft. Because we've got a little time today. And we're going to do that. So hope to get something up today or tomorrow. And also, a big news and surprise announcement. Dun, dun, dun. Today is Tuesday. It is the 11th? What's today? Hold on. 11th? Oh my god, I'm so far behind. It's the 14th. So uh, August 14th and I am flying out to Texas to visit a friend, a YouTube guy that you guys will know. Actually, there's going to be two of them out there. So I'm going out to visit Lucklin, Minecraft WB, and Wolf21 is out there right now. He's, been out, he's going to be out there for 12 days visiting as well. And I hope I'm going in the right direction. What's over here somewhere? I'm going to have to check the coordinates because I don't remember exactly where this place was. I know it's to the northeast. Let me find it off camera. <laughs> Because I don't remember. And I'm just wandering in the woods here talking. So anyway, um, he's having... They are having a family slash pack meetup on Saturday. And uh, I'll put a link to the... To Lucklin's video about that. With all the details. But um, he invited me down. And it's kind of a last minute thing. I said, yeah, okay. I, I think I can do this. We don't have anything going on that weekend here. Because we do a lot of you know camping and vacations in the summer. Sporting events and stuff stuff going on, tournaments and things. But um, not not that weekend, so it's open. So I'm flying out to Texas to see Wolf21 and Lucklin and a bunch of fans too. So, whoops. So if anybody that's watching this lives around San Antonio, that's where we're going to be. So anyway, I'll put a link down below in the description. You guys can check that out if you're interested in meeting up going to be at some public location down in uh, Texas and um, looking forward to being there for that weekend we're going to be we'll actually have some video cameras and we'll be recording and vlogging and all that fun stuff so if you can't make it you'll still get to watch on on camera on the uh, on YouTube channels all right so that's the special news announcement um, I'm lost I have to find the stronghold you know what I never marked it I never put up any beacons, but I have the coordinates written down somewhere. I'm pretty sure I wrote that down so I can find my way back because I don't have any. Well, I do have these, but I cannot use those. Uh. All right, I'll be right back. Stay tuned.